where is my prize for most unreliable narrator? I would never lie to you, but I lie to me all the time. I say, look at that bird, this childhood memory, that light falling across his body in the steam and say, boom, a stone truth, a poem. And you, trust me. You trace your finger along the constellation I'm insisting into existence and allow my rickety astrology to determine the weather. But this is all dominoes. I am just trying to place enough words between now and the end to trick the end into coming later. I slip single doses of myself into the pockets of everyone I love, worried about serving sizes, hoping they do not sour once I'm gone. I spent 32 years in New York City, and every metaphor is stacked with taxi cabs and subways. I spent two weeks in the woods, and suddenly every poem swelled with rhododendrons and the smell of firewood. I am the most porous sponge that ever sponged. I throw myself off every emotional cliff and build a pogo stick on the way down. I am not an optimist, but I play one in the group chat. I don't know who I think I need absolution from, but I carry around a shiny report card everywhere I go just in case. I thought I wanted a boyfriend, but I actually wanted an audience. My father carried dried mushrooms from the market to the wood table on the front porch so he could walk watched the way the late afternoon sun made patterns in their crackled skin. He called my mother out of the house so she could stand next to him and look at it too. They were both so excited. They forgot to close the screen door and the bugs made a home of the kitchen. I have never accomplished anything in my life other than the seven mile run to the lighthouse. This land, someone else's. This language, someone else's. Even the churning fear that pours out of me an inherent inheritance, or if not an inheritance, then a reaction, a riverbank formed out of a rushing past I had nothing to do with. I make a phone call, and when you don't pick up, the whole house falls down around me. I am the center of my own dramatic universe, and it appalls me in my dream. From somewhere down a hallway of locked doors, a voice asks, what if you aren't as bad as you suspect you are? What if you will never be as good as you ache? And then, softer, in the kind of whisper that wouldn't even fog the glass, what if what you are is boring and alive? What? Are you going to do then?